This is Sky News with Colin Brazier. Hello there and good afternoon. The future of music retailer HMV has been secured with restructuring specialist Hilco signing a deal to buy the brand. The sale is thought to be worth £50 million. The company has acquired 141 stores, 25 of which had been earmarked for closure. The business also comes with 2,500 employees. Hilco says it plans to expand its product range, selling tablets and other devices, along with music and videos. In a statement, the chief executive, Paul McGowan, said this. We hope to replicate some of the success we have had in the Canadian market with the HMV Canada business, which we acquired almost two years ago, and which is now trading strongly. The structural differences in the markets and the higher level of competition in the UK will prove additional challenges for the UK business, but we believe it has a successful future ahead of it. Let's uh, find out more. Sky's city editor, Mark Clyden, broke the story, and here he is again. Um, Mark, the chief exec there, uh, Paul McGowan, sounds pretty chipper. Uh, the business model, some people feel it's fundamentally flawed. Uh, what's the view? Yeah, I mean, the uh, city was uh, really uh, very pessimistic about HMV's prospects for uh, several years before it finally succumbed uh, to the inevitable and called in administrators back in January. And uh, that, that pessimism was founded on the basis that HMV was struggling under the weight of a very big debt mountain, but more uh, more importantly in some ways, it was struggling amid competition from supermarkets which had encroached upon its turf selling charts, CDs and DVDs, and from low-cost, more nimble competitors on the internet like Amazon. Um, I don't think those concerns have gone away at all. Uh, in fact, uh, you could argue that Hilco, as a restructuring firm, has taken a view that uh, perhaps it can uh, eke out some profits from HMV for uh, a couple of years before gradually uh, closing some of the shops it's bought today and then concentrating on HMV as a an internet-only brand. I mean, clearly Hilco is not saying that today, but there's still some, uh, rightly, some scepticism about how vibrant a future HMV might have. And yet there is this view, isn't there, that actually um, the big film studios, the big music labels are getting a bit jittery about the market dominance of iTunes and Amazon and indeed the supermarkets and they actually want to retain a high street presence because actually the experience can be from a retailing perspective very fulfilling you know you think of the, the places where Apple products are, are sold it can be a fantastic you know literally shop window yeah that's right uh, I think that that's uh, you've hit the nail on the head Colin in the sense that um, people do still enjoy going into high street shops where they can browse uh, you know, in a uh, you know, in a more material way than perhaps you can online. And clearly, there was no issue with footfall in HMV stores. The the problem uh, was that people would go into the shops, uh, have a look around, and then buy the products that they'd identified they wanted to buy uh, from cheaper online competitors. That's clearly an issue uh, which uh, HMV has got to address under Hillco's ownership. I mean, it's interesting, Colin, that in the statement announcing this deal. Uh, this morning, Hilco has said that it's going to abandon the practice of selling tablets and other what you would regard as higher margin, higher profit margin devices, digital devices, and reallocate that space in HMV shops to expanding the music and visual entertainment ranges. That, in many, uh, in the view of many of the people I've spoken to this morning uh, since the deal was announced, is a, a pretty bold uh, bet for HMV to take. Thanks a lot, Mark. Children's heart surgery will resume.